Dr. J, what's going on? Is everything okay? Just dead inside with no reason to live. Like a Food Network contestant who gives up everything to be on chop and then loses in the appetizer round. What happened? Oh, did your flight get canceled? Did the store run out of beads or yarn or whatever? Oh. Woo. Sorry, I'm late. Oh my God, is that a tailored suit? Yeah, what did you come from court? Okay, don't be crazy. Courts are only in the movies. Right. No, I got a new job and they make me wear this. Well, I hope it keeps you warm on the walk home because tardiness is no longer accepted. Sorry I'm late, everyone. Sorry. I was doing a photo shoot and I walked by a mirror and just got mesmerized by my own eyes. And here I am four hours later. Oh, Jordan, something is different. Oh, I'm wearing a suit. That's not it. Although, I see that and I don't hate it. Well, we've already started and I have a new rule that you can't be late. So, Monica, Jordan, try to be on time next week. Goodbye. <laughs> you could just make up rules now? Mm-hmm. Okay. No, wait. My driver and I came all the way from Tribeca. I'm not leaving. I'm sorry, the tribe has spoken. Where are you going? You heard her. She said the tribe has spoken. Now we all pack up and go back to camp. You know what? No one wanted either of you two on the island. Oh my God, where's my torch? Okay, no one is leaving. Cool. Fine, you can stay, but please try to come on time next week. Treat it like a brand deal, or like you've got your dream job you've wanted your whole life. And you two better win immunity next week, or it's goodbye. Oh my God, Kevin, my favorite person in the whole world. What if we talk about you this week? Wouldn't that be fun, you guys, if we talk about Kevin? Let's vote on that. Who votes on Kevin? Okay, Janet? Yeah. Honey, what's going on? Why are you crying? No, no. I went last week. But you're crying and it's... Fine, okay? I was set up and hung out to dry. I was kicking butt at Michael's. And then I got called into the head honcho's office. Miss Tumbleweed. Hello, Michael. It's Brian. It's not Michael. Oh, it's a stage name. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to let you go. What? Please, you can't do this to me. I've been working my entire life to get here. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm the Beyonce of the craft influencing community. I don't know who that is. Beyonce? Your main responsibility is to lock the door. Yes. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes, and not only did you not lock it, but you left it wide open. I didn't make this mistake, okay? I don't make mistakes. Please understand this brings me absolutely no joy. Wow, it sounds like you made a really big scene. Yeah. I wasn't done. <laughs> You're making this way harder than it needs to be, Janet. <laughs> this is the worst day of my life. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to go ahead and pack up your desk. Just give me four hours or something to unravel the yarn. <laughs> what yarn? <laughs> I wrapped my desk in fucking yarn! <laughs> what about my employee discount? <laughs> Wow, that is so embarrassing for you. It really was. Kevin, why don't we talk about you? You know, and left everybody's spirit. Ooh, or or, or could, could it be me? And I didn't skip today because I thought it might be me and I love talking about myself and I'm honestly pretty good at it. Changing the way we pull the phone cases? Seems awfully suspicious. Do you have something to hide, doctor? No, Monica. I just thought it might be nice, you know, to talk about Kevin. And if you wanted to hold me, that's fine too. He could. Lovingly hold his depressed friend. Or watch her wither. Like a cobweb. In the rain. This reminds me of the time me and three of my closest female friends tried to solve the mystery of our friend's murder. And then we start getting all these emails and text messages. What was her name? Uh, Abigail, Amber. Well, anyway, she went by A. Pretty little liars. Trish, I'm only gonna say this once so you listen. Lucy Hale is five foot two and has the talent of a giant. So you keep her name out of your mouth. Oh! Uh, Janet, do you want to tell us what's going on? Because clearly something is. No, no, you're just paranoid, Monica. I can sense change. It's both a blessing and a curse, but it's what I have. Did you add a tip jar to the phone jail? You know, I buy pretzels and snacks every week and it just sort of adds up. Is it a tip jar or is it a pretzel fund? Because I really need to know. I owe somebody $7,000. Now that I'm recently fun employed, I just thought like everybody could chip in, you know? You don't have a Patreon? But I do. Um, backslash Dr. Crafty doesn't go to jailing. Okay, why don't I pick? 
Wait, why don't you want Jordan to go? That's me. Shut up, you fake little bitch! Oh my Ooh. god. <sighs> Janet, you know how grizzly bears can sniff some food from miles away? Well, food is to grizzlies as secrets are to Monica, and this mama bear is hungry for a juicy little secret. Okay, there are no secrets, Monica. <laughs> Jordan, if you have something you would like to share, go ahead. Sweet. So I started this new job. Or you could pass, you could totally pass. What, you can't pass? That's never been allowed before. Wow, thank you, Nikki, for reminding us of that. It's so fascinating, however, though, that you forget every week, like everybody else, that we all have to come on time. That one is optional. Yeah. Is it? I always understood it that way. What is that smell? Is that fresh salmon? Because I smell something fishy. Whatever, Jordan, do you have anything to share? So. I started at this boring old job. Job? I'm surprised he even knows what a job is, that he can hold a job. How do you spell job? J-O-B. Wow. It's pretty good money, and all I have to do is pick up the phone and talk to, like, childless aunts about uh, stickers and crayons or whatever. Wait, where's this stickers and crayons store? Oh, Michelle's? God, give me strength. Dr. J hooked me up with it. Wait, Michael's? Uh, I don't think so. It's yeah. kind of a girly oh. store. Jordan still has your dream job. I'm over it. Really? Yes. Well, then this shouldn't be a problem at all. Jordan, why don't you go ahead and tell us all about your new job, all the glossy, glittery, yarn-filled details. Anyway, I really like the job, and I'm pretty good at it, and I like talking to old women, but this week, this one woman called me and kind of screwed things up. Hi, this is j Dog. Thanks for calling Michelle's, a store for bored old women. I'm hot and will be flirting with you for the duration of this call. My name is Schmanich Mumbleweed, and I have a yarn question. Yeah, no problem, Schmanich. Our yarn is important from all over the world. But wait, damn, you sound cute. What's your question, girl? Can I use yarn as a pulley system for inside my car's engine? You can make all kinds of stuff with our yarn, yeah. Um, hats, scarves, globes. And so just to confirm, you're saying I can use a pulley system made of yarn for inside my car's engine. That sounds dope. But you know what? Enough about me. Tell me about yourself. I didn't really think much of it, especially because I got promoted. There is no God! I mean, you got promoted? Yeah, so everything was going well, but then I got the call. Hey, this is Jordy Jord. Thanks for calling Mitchell's, a store for bored old women. j Dog, this is Schmanich Schmumbleweed's husband. Oh, Mr. Schmumbleweed? Please don't worry about the harmless flirting. I don't actually want to bang a bunch of boring old women that buy stuff here. You killed my wife, you moron. Wait, what? Something happened to Schmanich? You killed my beautiful, talented, not at all boring wife by telling her it was okay to use a pulley system made of yarn for inside her car. Oh. You big, fat Frick. idiot. Oh, what? Please don't call me fat. I haven't worked out in like three days. Transfer me to Michael now. I'm going to tell him how fat and useless you really <gasps> are. Dang it. I am dead. Only at Michael's would someone die by yarn. <laughs> May she rest in peace. What a tragedy. I started crying and then Brian, our manager, came over to tell me that I got promoted again and that they tracked the call to some disgruntled ex-employee. A disgruntled ex-employee, huh? And her name was Manich Mumbleweed? Mm -hmm. And your name is Janet Tumbleweed, right? Am I saying that correctly? Tumbleweed? And Interesting kawinky dink, right? Schmanic. Am I the only one turned on right now? I'm getting there. I had gotten promoted, okay? Me! And I got you this job and you ruined everything! Tell us the whole story or do you want me to just keep sniffing out? Because once I catch that scent, I'm not gonna stop! We get it. Okay, job well done. Let's head out, shall oh, we? Wait, I have 250 left, is that okay? Yeah, no, it's fine. I just. There's a crazy sale downstairs on beads, so I was actually gonna go downstairs and buy a bulk order, flip the beads for profit, and sort of like retire on that. Totally, yeah. Go for it. Beads are cool. Yeah, no, I know, but I have to lock up. Yeah, you're right. Beads are a little embarrassing. I'll lock it up for you. You'll lock up? Consider it locked. Oh my god, great. Thank you so much, Jordan. Yeah. Um, and I'm about to spend $7,000 on beads! You trusted Jordan? Jordan, why didn't you say anything? Because I locked it up. I got you, Dr. J. You locked your mouth? 
Not the door! Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, God! Oh, are you okay? Should I be able to feel my left arm? You'll be fine. Jordan, enjoy every second at Michael's. And just remember, can't love you back. I love working out and taking pictures of my body and, and drinking water and posting pics saying, I don't know who needs to hear this, but drink a glass of water. I'm quitting Michael's because oh. I love the gym. Oh, oh, case closed. That's another one for Monica. Before we go, I'm feeling generous, so let me just go ahead and write you a check for the 7,000, okay? Oh, can I get one? Oh, sweetie. I'm sorry, I don't think your generation accepts checks. We can do it. Mon, no, I don't. Monty. Mon. Can I have a check? Oh, my gosh. Are, oh. are y'all all What the okay. hell, Monica? Oh, they're fine. Oh, wait, it's fine. What? What do you mean they're fine? I'll cash that. Okay. Bye, guys. I'll see you next week, okay? Bye. Yeah, okay. You fell on my shoe.